Hello guys, welcome in my video about 1433 formation. This will be the general overview of my view on this formation and I will show you strengths and weaknesses of this system in my opinion. After watching this material you can watch the other videos on my channel and also if you haven't subscribed yet, do it to not miss my next episodes. Let's jump into the video. One of the biggest advantages of using this formation is in my opinion number of options that you have when you want to play a positional attack, possession football, short passing game from the back, from the goalkeeper, from the goal kick or from your central defenders. Your goalkeeper can play central defenders, can play both fullbacks, can play number 6, number 10, number 8 and that's all because in 4-3-3 you have 3 strikers and opponents probably will stay with all 4 defenders with these 3 strikers. And this will happen especially when your goalkeeper has a good long range passing ability. So the opponents will have a numerical superiority right there on their own half because they want to secure this whole space from our attack and that's why we will have numerical superiority on our own half in the space that we want to have this numerical superiority because it will allow us to play out from the back with the greater chance of success. If the opponents will risk and they will want to deny our possibilities to play out from the back with short passes, they will probably go with man to man marking. And this is the moment when they will leave us our three strikers in three on three situation on their own half. In the situation like this we can switch our tactics to long ball to one of our three strikers and it will work very good especially when one of our strikers is tall and is good in the air. And of course remember that offside rule doesn't apply while playing from the goal kick so this gives you another few options to play long pass from the goal kick. So as you can see the 4-3-3 formation gives you a lot of opportunities to play out from the back and that's because of a lot of passing lanes that you have and this formation also gives you a lot of answers, a lot of possibilities to counter play the opponent's tactics. I showed many of my ideas in my video about playing out from the back in 4-3-3 and you can see a link to this video right now at the top of your screen. The other obvious advantage of this system is that you have three midfielders on the pitch at the same moment. And this of course depends on tactics and strategy that you've chosen, but when you want to play short passing game, possession football, it is really really important to have numerical superiority in this midfield area. In this case you have three blue players versus two red players in the central part of the field and it gives you numerical superiority. This is really important because when you have one player advantage in this, in this space, this free player doesn't need to focus on resisting the, pre the pressure he can raise his head, raise his eyes and look for the forward options and play the ball there. And if the opponents will react to your superiority in the central part of the pitch, for example by dropping one of their strikers back to the midfield or by changing their whole formation, you can react to this as well just by dropping your striker to the midfield and basically now you have four players midfield. The central defenders probably won't follow your striker but if they do they will leave a lot of space for one of your wingers to use and score the goal. 4 free, free formation is perfect for dropping your striker to the midfield because one of the wingers can drop to the central zone or even two of the wingers and you will play with two strikers now and it creates space for your fullbacks to join the attack, use the wide space and make problems for the opponents. And striker dropping back in this formation has a one more important quality. With the use of this striker you can utilize half spaces with number 10 and number 8 just by using simple wall pass. The next and probably my favorite advantage from using this formation is just an incredible number of ways that you can attack your opponent. You can play it like this in this quite static formation and just use individual movements to create space. You can drop your number 6 between the central defenders and play with back free. 
in this way. If your fullbacks are very good in 1v1 situations, you can push them even higher, make wingers go a little bit more narrow and striker to drop back just a little bit and you can play in this formation with front 4, very aggressive. You can also use only one of your fullbacks and this will allow your number 6 to go a little bit higher and join the midfield, ga midfield game. These position changes between your players are very important in your attacking play because every change of position between two or three or even more players will cause confusion in opponents. And confusion may lead to forcing them into making mistakes and you want them to make mistakes because it will make your attack easier. And 4-3-3 formation is also great when you have opponent that wants to play short passes from the goal kick because it puts three players in the first line of attack and allow you to put, put a lot of pressure on the opponents. And this formation also allows you to very quickly switch your defense block from the 4-3-3 to 4-1-4-1 and 4-5-1. Now we're gonna talk about weaknesses of this formation because if you want to effectively use this formation you need to know as well as about good sides and bad sides. One of the biggest disadvantages in this formation is in my opinion the three players attacking block during the moments of losing possession. Of course, if your three players in the front are close enough to the ball, you can try to put counter pressing straight away, but if that's not possible, you have three players out of defensive play straight away at the beginning of defensive action. What in connection with narrow setup of your three midfield players leaves you very exposed to attack through the flanks. The other important thing in this formation is that your three midfielders need to have very very special abilities. Because we front three players often, very often out of position during transition play or during defensive play, your three central midfielders will be required to cover really long distances and this of course will cause tiredness in them. And with all this tiredness they will need to maintain really high level of technical abilities and levels of creativity because after the possession is regained, they are responsible for creating the new action, new attack. But thanks to this, this is a great formation for younger players, because it will teach them to be responsible with the ball. So to sum things up, this is probably the worst formation if you want to hide low technical qualities, low passing abilities of your players, because this system will expose every bad pass that your players will make. Next problem in this formation, is when you are playing against opponent that often tries to overload one side of the pitch with short passes, they want to make your players to go there and then they are trying to switch the ball to the other side to one isolated player. This is what Manchester City very often does. This is what Manchester City very often does. In case like this, you want to have a fullback with very, very high qualities of individual defending. Because, as I said before, in this formation your three midfielders are set up quite narrow, so they won't have time to assecurate your fullback. And that can't be done by one of the central defenders as well, because if they do so, the opponents, instead of switching the play to the other side, they will just use this space to score the goal. The next thing that I want to show you is the importance of player number 6. In many teams this is the most pressure resistance player and many, if not all, attacking plays are starting from him. And that's why the opponents can try to disable him from an attacking play, for example by assigning a man marker to him or just by attacking him very aggressively every time that he touches the ball. And while the number 6 is indeed really important in building up the attacking play, if you won't find some counter actions to the opponent's action, you will be in the big trouble. The opponents can deny all of your attacks in this way and just dominate the game. Guardiola once said that these all formations are just telephone numbers and I agree with him. So it's all not up to the numbers, it's up to the players about their roles, about their responsibilities. So don't put all your attention only in numbers because as I showed you today, this is a video about 4-3-3 formation, but I show you 
4141, 451, 433, 424 and many more numbers I think. So just don't take these numbers so serious, it's not all about that. Ok guys, that's all that I wanted to say you today, to show you today. If you have any questions, if you want to discuss some topics from this video, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't yet and see you in the next video.